what I told you. I told you that. I mean, I really said it. What I said. No, I'm getting to it. Yeah, no, I'm going to do it. I'm going right now. Pick the weeds. I know. Pick them right I'm now. Going right now. I'm going to the weeds. Got to get to it right now. Let's you go. pick the weeds or I come after you. This week I'm combined with eggs. I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> Same one's favorite show is combined with eggs. Combined with eggs was spelling from the last two Alright everybody. Oh, I don't need these anymore. This week's episode is on lamb's quarter. Lamb's quarter is a weed that most people consider a weed, uh, but it's actually known as like a poor man's spinach. It's a very light, easy to uh, eat, uh, leafy green that you wilt in the pan. And that's what we're doing with this guy today. So I'm pulling it up entirely by the roots. And we're gonna clean it up. Eat it. Guys, it's lamb's quarter. Not to be confused with the quarter of a lamb. <laughs> There's not that much to be said about lamb's quarter. Some people think it was from Europe. Others say it was from America. Born in the US. One thing's for sure is that it's very easy to eat. In hot temperatures, lamb's quarter goes to seed very easily, making it easy to save and plant wherever you want in your yard. It's easy to identify. Toothy arrowhead. The leaf stem, which is square across, not round. And a white powdery center. That's water folk. That's not afraid of water. It just means it repels water. It grows in poor soil. In great soil. Oil. Easily almost anywhere in the United States. <laughs> to the cook. Lamb's quarter. We're gonna put some water in the pan. It's gonna be about four inches worth. So maybe, eh, we'll go three and a half. A couple gloves, that's like a technical term for like one and a half tablespoon of white vinegar. Today's episode is lamb's quarter with a poached egg. The goal is, after we crack the egg in there, that we let the outer white go through the sieve, and then we're keeping the inner white and yolk, and we're gonna pour that in very carefully into a ramekin. See, so some of that white's already going through. And now we're gonna carefully spill this into this bowl here. Okay, so, for, for the lamb's quarter, I'm just gonna strip off these, cause you can see there's like a central coarse um, stem and we actually aren't gonna use that part because it's very woody. Make sure there's not a lot of dirt on them or sand. The thing is I'm gonna remove the leaves completely from any stem material. But, and you can just pluck the leaves right at their bases. So we're gonna take that strained egg, get the outer white out of it, <laughs> outer white out. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a little vortex. Oh, that's fancy for like a little water spout slash tornado in the water while it's boiling. See that? But you don't want it to be too hard that it would overflow the side. Okay, and then you're gonna spill the egg in there. So I'm just using a normal tablespoon for this. Now we're gonna set the timer for three minutes exactly. One, two, three, boom. Lamp four. Uh, drop the heat down to a simmer. So now that it's at the boil, the boil will continue and you just put it down to like a lowest burner. I'm gonna start crisping up the uh, the lamb's quarter. Ooh. So this one, the flame is extra high. 
we're gonna put the lamb's quarter in in a very even layer. It should crisp up really well. Spoon it right out and let it drain in the pan. Voila, perfect poached egg. Anytime you add water to heat, you get that sizzling sound. Keeping the heat very high on this particular cook. I, I, I told you I'm doing it, okay? I'm doing it right now. Pickle them right now. Look, I, I pulled the weeds. I'm done. Pickle them. Yeah, I, I love you too. We're gonna add a little bit of that on top of our poached egg. Have ourselves a snack, okay? Lou, this is good. Mmm. Lamb quarter tastes like a firmer spinach. The leaf structure is kind of similar to like um, spinach or um, nori, like Japanese nori it has a little bit of a chew to it compared to, let's say, ordinary spinach. This is delicious though, it tastes great. Mmm. week's episode next week's episode we haven't decided yet mystery Whoa. next week's episode swedish coffee mm. delicious <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, give it a whirl. It's really good. <laughs> Enjoy.